startling and awe-inspiring. The amazing creatures that thrive on this planet. In numbers virtually too massive to even begin to count. Hundreds, thousands is the more likely total, but numerous and varied to be sure. Pokemon competing together against others in the Pokemon battle and hoping to one day become champions. Living together and reaching out to each other as friends and comrades. Ash Ketchum from Palatown, working with Pikachu to catch other Pokemon and perfect the art of the battle. Traveling far and wide with good friends while honing his many battling skills. And with every new Pokemon our heroes meet along their exciting journey, a new adventure awaits them. But now... the fearsome distortions of time and space, one unfortunate encounter has plunged the planet into crisis and given birth to a new hatred. In the unmoving, intertwined strings of fate, tangled and inextricable, and seeking an answer beyond time and space, even now there are those who seek to find an answer.
Ash's journey to become a Pokemon master continues, as along with Pikachu and his friends Dawn and Rock, he happily arrives in Machina Town, a beautiful place surrounded by nature.
town without seeing the ruins. Ruins? Yeah, of a temple from thousands of years ago. Hey, the guidebook talks about them as well. Wow, I want to see them. You're going to love them. They're the best. So, what do you say we check the ruins out? <laughs> Thank you. 
Giratina gets it now. That's nice if it's true, but I should have seen it in its heart. Should have seen in its heart? You see, I have the power to connect my heart with the hearts of Pokémon. With Pokémon? Then you can connect with Dialga? Yes, and it surely lent me some of its strength. Dialga has? <gasps> Hi, my name is Sheena, and I'm a guardian of these ruins. Same here, too. My name's Kevin. So were any of you injured? No, we're fine. No. My name is Dawn. My name's Ash, and this is my partner, Pikachu. Thanks for saving my buddy. <laughs> ah! Long ago, there was a thunder creature and its master, and they changed the fate of this town. Huh? Yes, you see, it's part of the legend of this town. Wait a minute, a thunder creature and its master? Oh, you mean me and Pikachu? I have a feeling our meeting may have been fated. So would you mind coming with us? I'll do whatever you want. I mean, after all, you saved Pikachu's life. Sheena. I'm Brock, another fated person. Why, just a short moment ago, I took a faded tumble and scraped my elbow, which then led to the faded fact that you would kiss it and make it better. And also, fate would, and also, fate would have you stroke me with that beautiful hand of yours, which is the miracle that took away all of my pain, all because of the fickle finger of fate. And now we get to know each other and build our feelings on the faded love that I know is there inside. Such a lovely silken hand, huh?
rise above or go over. You see, right now, Sheena's connected to the hearts of both of those Pokemon. She's sinking with them! <laughs> They've returned to their own dimensions. See that? I don't believe it. I don't get it. I don't know what to get. Duh. We saw the time-space Pokemon. And a woman who can control them as well. Tapping into the hearts of Pokemon rocks, but I think she's got control issues too. No, I don't know. I can do that. Hmm. Hmm. It's creeping me out! Wait, what's this? No way! Watch the strange mutations at Alamos Town. Uh -huh. Kiratina's reverse world. Here we have the dimension of Dialga. Here, Palkia's dimension. On top of that, Arceus's dimension. What's Arceus's dimension? I've never heard of it. Is it a Pokemon? Right. The, le right. the legendary Pokemon said to have created its entire world. Entire world? By a Pokemon! It's also said to have created these worlds, too. Pokemon that creates entire worlds. Wow. Well, isn't that special? I wouldn't want to meet it in a dark alley. There is an omen that predicts Arceus will soon awaken from its long slumber. Long slumber? Massive whirlpools of energy are beginning to form around Arceus as it begins to awaken. These whirlpools are distorting space and brought Dialga and Palkia's dimensions, which were designed to remain eternally separated, into contact with each other. So Dialga and Palkia, who shouldn't ever have met, collided with one another in Alamos Town, while both of them thought the other had tried to threaten its territory. Exactly. Their battle also affected the reverse world, which brought Giratina into the conflict as well. between Dialga and Palkia, didn't you? Yes. Wait a minute. Why didn't Giratina understand you? When a Pokemon is overcome with rage, she can't connect with his heart. Rage?
lows in the mid 40s. Highs in the mid 60s. Thursday night, mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. Chance of showers. Lows in the upper 40s. Chance of rain 40%. Friday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 60s. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 40. Saturday, partly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain showers. Highs around 60. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. Sunday, partly We've been using the altar to pinpoint the moment when Arceus will appear. Why will it do that? It holds a grudge against humanity. Arceus remains intent on bringing us all to justice. Uh, justice? Yes, justice. It's possible that Arceus will destroy us entirely. A Pokémon destroying all people? No way! It can't be! Have a look at this. It's a legend of this place. Look at that! It's Arceus! When it appeared that fragments from the stars would destroy much of the Pokémon, Arceus sacrificed itself in order to fend off the danger. So it stopped meteors? Awesome! What an incredible Pokémon! Arceus had been carrying the 16 life plates around with it that could be used to counter all possible attacks. But it lost the life plates in a collision with meteors, making its death a near certainty. Then Arceus was saved by a man named Damos, who returned the life plates to their rightful owner. Back then, Machina was little more than a wasteland spreading out over the land. But when Arceus saw this, it was overcome with pity. So it removed the powers of water, grass, ground, and electricity from the life plates, and on top of that, dragon. It then combined them into one, making the Jewel of Life. Oh, the Jewel of Life? Arceus trusted Damos and bestowed upon him the Jewel of Life, even though this meant putting its own life in grave danger. Arceus's magnificent strength flowed out of the Jewel of Life, turning that wasteland that was Machina into a fertile paradise. <laughs> And then, came the day when Damos was to return the jewel. The day when the moon covered the sun. A solar eclipse? Yes. Huh? However, Damos broke his promise. And instead of returning the jewel of life, he attacked Arceus. Uh, why? Well, Damos believed that if he were to return the jewel, this area would go back to being an uncultivated wasteland. Feeling profoundly betrayed, Arceus fell into a rage and destroyed the shrine. And then, in order to heal itself from its injuries, Arceus began a long sleep. I can see why Arceus was upset. And Arceus went as far as to give up a part of itself to try and help Damos. So in the end, it was Damos that acted so terribly. Damos is... My ancestor. And this is the jewel of life. <laughs> the mother load. That's it. That jewel's what I'm talking about. Jewel of a jewel. First things first, we need that. And what about our kids? <laughs> we need that too. The thrill of double, the thrill of double prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Return thus to Arceus, the jewel of life. Placate its rage, lest destruction visit this land. See, it is written.
It's a message to us from our ancestors. So then that means they realize their mistake. Yes. We must return the Jewel of Life to Arceus so that we may calm its wrath. This is coming.
has to be using the life plates to defend against its opponent's attacks. Out of my way! What do we do?
not. It's counterfeit. The real one is right here. I could never give you the real jewel of life. Children wait in a cell. Take good care of them. Sir! Let's go. Still
75 degrees under fair skies. Here is your National Weather Service forecast for southwest Missouri including the cities of Springfield, Branson, Lebanon, and surrounding communities. Today, partly sunny early in the morning then becoming mostly cloudy. Highs around 70. Light winds in the morning becoming southeast around 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. Tonight, chance of showers in the evening, then showers after midnight. Lows in the mid-40s. East winds around 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Watch your fucking living. Maybe he's headed across the field. never return the jewel of life. Instead, he attacked Arceus.
plants are. Use hypnosis. You people are clearly not of this land. Yes, we have come here from the future. What? To stop you from battling with Arceus. Such strange words you speak. We know everything that's going to happen in the future. Oh? Please believe me. Well then, let us hear what this woman has to say. Have the children wait in the cell. Take good care of them. Sir! something. Huh? That man is definitely speaking the truth. I absolutely know for a fact that Davos was attempting to return the Jewel of Life back to Arceus. What I'm completely uncertain about is whether or not that's the correct action for Davos to take. So, you're telling the truth? Hey, the hypnosis! Right, Bronzon used it! So Marcus must have used hypnosis on Davos and manipulated him as well. Of course! Hold on, what in the world are you talking about? We came here from the future, you see? The future? Take a look at this! <laughs> Magical creature. In the future, this is called a Pokeball. Return! Of course, you don't have these yet. And back where we come from, what you call magical creatures, we call Pokemon. Pokemon? I understand it now. You said you all came here from the future, and you were telling the truth. Damos has no intention of returning the Jewel of Life back to Arceus. I'm certain of that. I see. But then, if Arceus doesn't get the Jewel of Life back, terrible things will start to happen. What kind of things? Concerning you and Damos. 
What are you saying? You have to trust me, please! in the future. That's it. That's what the legend says, and... The people of Machina saw you as an evil man from then on. As if I could ever betray Arceus. Arceus, who saved us all.
transcend the confines of time and space.
return it back to you. He used several electric attacks and then dropped a boulder on Arceus. What about silver water? <sighs> I guess he didn't use it. Understood. I believe you. I shall stop Damos at once. We must return the Jewel of Life to Arceus. <sighs> This is the jewel of life. You shall return it to Arceus. Let's go. You shall change history. Look at this. 
jewel of life to Arceus. But how are you going to get yourself out of here? I have friends as well. Dad! Dad! Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Thanks so much. Hey, Joe. Pikachu! Hey, goodness, you're safe, Pikachu! What are we? Hey, Joe, thank you. Oh, so they helped you out too, did they? Yeah. Damos, you can see the hearts of Pokemon as well, right? Yeah. That's because he's Sheena's ancestor. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Joe. Thank you, children from the future. Yeah. Hey, Dumbos! Too late. 
late for that. It belongs to us now. He trapped. We think it's your new thunderbolt. One day you all will thank me. What for? Because I am saving the future. Saving the future? Arceus will perish here, which means there won't be a way for Arceus to appear in the future ever again. Oh. I am changing history!
brought you the jewel of life, so please take it! Arceus!
you saved my life. It wasn't just It's all right. This is the end. I know it. This place will once again become a wasteland. For us, there is no future.
future children who taught me how to believe. I offer all of you now my sincerest hopes and wishes that the future world will become more and more beautiful. And that is exactly the kind of world you find yourselves in. Thank you, Thomas. to understand that I am truly a part of it. game for all the family. Wow. Roll the dice, then make sure you get all your furious friends together. Hello? 
almost fucked up the truck. <laughs> Why? Uh, I was at the gas pump, and there's a semi in front of me. And hold on, I'm trying to back up. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck. There, so, he was in front of me, and, uh, he pulled, he put out his brakes and pulled up a little bit. I thought he was just still gonna stay in that one spot. I thought he was just pulling up so I can get by. So I tried, tried to squeeze through to the left, and, uh, I, so I tried to make a left turn. And then all of a sudden he went pulled forward, so I tried to go straight, and that fucked up my turn and I almost hitting the fucking thing. <laughs> like I I can't mention this guy behind me is like directing me. I got out of it, but damn, it was close. Are these people fucking moving. I can't see. Oh yeah. So you're still at work? Yeah. Why? Cause fucking you gotta go get gas and shit. Is there a toilet paper there? Yeah. Do you, do you ever get any in your truck? There's a roll down below. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'm sitting here. I, uh, after a while, I gotta go to Olive Garden. For what? It's my anniversary, 10 years married to my beautiful, loving, pistol whip and wife. Are they still open? Yeah, for curb. For curb time. Oh, are you for real? Yeah, we'll pick it up and take it home. So, we're gonna move. so you'd be like, can I have like 20 breadsticks, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got to go. So we got to go just in time before everything happened, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I am. Now what? We got to go just in time, huh? Because, like, we were doing it. We all went for Jonathan's birthday. And, uh, we made it. Like, we went in time to me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to, Erica. I'm on the phone. Ow. Abuse. Now do what, bro? I'd say that we made it. Like Jonathan had a birthday there just a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah, all <laughs> good. Like we made it just a time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, you can actually buy pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. We saw it in wings. Five dollars. Wings, I If you want pepperoni, it costs five dollars. Yeah. Hey, you but I don't want to go there because guess what? You don't get to play the games. The whole reason why you go to Chuck E. Cheese games. See the mouse? The hey, band? What happened to Kraft Cheese? They got two cases. What? They have cases of Corona? Yeah, two of them. Uh oh. And then I guess they it was last week and they reopened today. I guess they said they wiped out everything. They brought everybody back to work. Oh, they have to, man. That's like so. Springfield Craft had two cases. Yeah, check my uh, I posted on my my wall. Hold on, Alex. Come on. 
Rock. You're looking at it? Yeah. So I, got, I got it written up. You got written up for what? Speeding. Why? I don't know. I, I guess I was doing 70 and a 50. But, uh. Were you? I, I probably was. I don't know. But, uh, today, I better not. I fucking did everything right today. If something fucking, if he says something, I'm gonna fucking I tell him I ain't signing it. Cause I made sure I did like five over today. Like, I was on it. I ain't fucking went slow. Well, is that on like a phone type deal that they track you on? Yeah, the geotab, yeah. But it, it goes to the computer. But can't you, no, but can't you, uh, like, do certain things to make it not, well, like... You can unplug it, but he'll fucking call you up and tell you to plug it in, or, or if it ain't, if you ain't, uh, logged in the jail tab, he'll fucking call you and tell you to log it in, right? If he can't see, he's got to be able to see you on the computer, on the dock. So, but, yeah, so Kraft had two cases that had to close it down. Okay. I should ask Larry's girlfriend. She works there. Yeah. I probably brought, brought him in bad cheese that had it on it. I brought in cheese last week. on ridiculous is what to do with telemarketers. You fucking get a pan and a call. You fucking put the phone number and start banging. <laughs> Eric? Hush, I can't hear guys. Can you hear me? Alright. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. So what are they open? Eleven? You're going soon? I don't know. I'm here at your house. You're here? Yep. Oh, come on in. <laughs> He's laughing, so I don't think he's here. <laughs> His wife will get mad at him. I gave her all the answers she wanted to hear.
You gonna work today? Yeah, I'm gonna go work today. So, are you taking Erica? We gotta take her all the way back home. Uh, I'm really off of here too. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So you're not mm -hmm. taking your, you're not taking your wife? Mm -hmm. You're gonna be all alone? Again. Again. Mm -hmm. I'll be here for you, buddy. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> my my boss is a dick today. What is the problem? Well, I had uh, 15 pallets. And the guy was taking, uh, the other guy was, he asked, my boss asked me how many I had. I said 15. Well, he said, have Nathan take two. Because Nathan doesn't, didn't have that many pallets. So, uh, I said, okay, that's fine. I said, can he take three? He said, no. I said, okay. Because I figured maybe he was putting some more pallets on Nathan's truck. Well, Nathan says, am I just, is that all I'm taking? It's just Rogers? I said, yeah. He's like, am I taking anybody else's? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, well, I should go ask him. Well, all of a sudden, the boss is right there, and I was there. Nate says, uh, is that all I'm taking? Is this Rogers? He said, yeah. He had tons of freaking room to take take one more so I could have 12 and not 13. And the boss is like, no, he takes two. What's that problem?